trailers, wrestling, sci-fi, fantasy, video games, comic cons. You're listening to Pop Cultured with Silver Screen Sheen and Team. Here's Silver Screen Sheen. Saturday, but Saturday afternoon, special time right here on Pop Cultured on Newstock 1290 CJBK. I'm your host, Silver Screen Sheen, joined with a full roster team again this evening with my co-host, as always, Neil Temple of Doom. Hey, everybody. What's up? And back for her second appearance, Tammy Heisel. You said you were giving me a nickname. I didn't have one. Oh, for my you. God. What about, we, okay, we we did off the air last show said zombie bait, so <laughs> we, we could did. still just put it as a placeholder. Put it as a placeholder. That's fine. I'll, <laughs> I'll accept that. A.K.A. zombie bait. That's good. I Welcome like back. And, of course, she's the host of Fanatics Online, your number one source for all your I don't know what, like, what, what if you could Binders. give, like, a good catchphrase. Oh. Like, what, what is it, your number one source for? I'm well, putting you on the spot. Well, nerd culture, but it's by nerds for nerds. That's right. There we go. Yeah. There I knew there was. I knew there was like, a, <laughs> uh, what do they call it? Tag. Uh, a tag. A tag. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I can't, I can't think of the word. Uh, slogan. No, it's, it's a slogan. But there's that that other word that they use for. You're in promotions. Man. Oh, <laughs> brain <So was> fart. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, lots of great content on her website, YouTube page, which you can find at fanaticsonline.rocks and Fanatics Online in your search bar on YouTube. Absolutely. Would that be the easiest way? Yes, absolutely. I think so. I think so. Okay. See, I'm still trying to I'm still trying to think of the word for it. It's bothering me. Oh. It's going to be like end of the show, and I'm just going to pop up and say it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're glad to have you back. Thank so, you. And, of course, yeah. she's got all sorts of great – she's jam-packed with information and uh, what's going on. So – uh, she's going to uh, give a recap of Anime North, and she's got some cool special news she's going to announce here. And, of course, uh, you know, just uh, what to expect from her uh, from her awesome channel. So uh, that, of course, uh, we're going to talk about uh, video games this week and a little bit of toy toy talk as well, which we don't do too, uh, too often. And a whole entire segment just about the con season and conversation and of course film and tv and some nerd news so make sure you stay tuned for all of that but out the gate we're gonna do something we don't do too often and that is toy talk there we go toy talk making it sound so hardcore <laughs> the reason why i'm going to uh i very rarely use this uh that awesome sound effect i don't know who put it together but i'm sure he's great um he did, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, no 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 it's some other guy named greg sheen mm. not related to silver screen sheen mm -hmm, okay mm -hmm. uh zombie bait there okay, we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just gotta make sure. See, the more I say it, the more I'll, I'll use it. And but that's a placeholder. We'll get something better for you. I like um, it. So I got received an awesome gift from a friend, uh, Cal. If you're listening, shout out. Thank you for getting me the Lego Star Wars. I got an ATST. Uh, if you know about Star Wars, you know what that is. It's like the 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 Walker, but the one with just two legs that you've seen in. I guess it would be Return of the Jedi, and of course in uh, Rogue uh, Rogue One as well. It uh, made its uh, reappearance in. So I put together a 443 piece Lego uh, unit, and this is the first time I've played with Lego in probably 30 years. Oh. Yes. Oh. So 30 years that it's been, and I was good back in my day. I was a bit of a Lego maniac, as they would say. <laughs> And uh, I have to say, I still got it. Good. I did not screw it up. IKEA furniture, different thing altogether. I can botch that in under twenty minutes. Where well, I'm did like, did you have leftover pieces or? Uh, no, just you know, definitely not uh, suitable for safety standards, etc. Sometimes right. have to start over. Sometimes have to take a walk, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of a walk. <laughs> 
you know, because, you know, there's only so much swear words that the kids can hear. I'm, I'm kidding. No, hey. no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so I go take a walk. Um, Lego, not so much. Very therapeutic and lots of fun. And the end result was this is cool. And this is not the Lego I remember from my youth, which was your, you know, pick five different colors and, you know, make a house, do whatever. They did have some specialized sets, and but it was called Technics back in the day. And it was the more advanced Lego, you know, like the, the ones I was like, well, that looks way too difficult for me. Uh, well, that's what it was pretty much, was a combination of my traditional Lego as I remember as a kid and also Technics, which is a lot of like moving parts and really, really, you know, it's between ages, uh, what was it, ages 8 to 14. That was the the recommended rage. Uh, of course, it should just say an up because I'm 40 yeah, and I was putting it together. So 14. it should say an up. <laughs> anyway, I guess I was how many years past my prime on that one? But it was so much fun. So I suggest if you can buy a Lego set, uh, something that's worthwhile. And if you got some free time, I just had a lamp on. Had my vinyl playing. I went through like five records. Did it over. I made it stretch a week. I could have done it. I was going to say, how long did it take? I could have <laughs> done it. I could have done it in two nights easily. Oh. Like I was already done half of it in the first night. And I was like, I got to slow down. Okay. Slow down. Yeah. So I did. And I, I just finished it yesterday. And I, I took a picture of it, which I'm going to put on <laughs> the Facebook fan yeah. page. And uh, sent it to my friend who bought it for me. And he's like, oh, that looks awesome. I think I might buy one for myself. So uh, anyway, I guess I did such a good job that now I've sold another kit for Lego. You're welcome. Send the proceeds to Pop Culture. <laughs> okay? And proceeds <laughs> meaning lots of Star Wars Lego sets. Okay? Um, and also, speaking of toys, uh, Neil, Temple of Doom, you brought up uh, a, a, good, a, a good little thing that's especially a huge fad right now, and I consider them toys. Uh, and wh What did you say? Yeah, well, it's one of the biggest trending things uh, going in 2017 are these fidget spinners. And we've all seen them. And we've seen them at kiosks, at the local malls, and all over the place. You know, kids, people of all ages really just, you know, fiddling around with them. <laughs> and uh, really, it's it's like you, like you mentioned about Lego being very therapeutic. You know, this is really designed to be uh, therapeutic, uh, as far as I've been told. Critics are split on that, I think, that it's, you know, a stress relief toy and that it works. <laughs> you know, to distract people or maybe just, you know, kids and also, you know, uh, people with uh, autism and other things like that. It may it may benefit uh, that, you know, just keep them kind of preoccupied, maybe keep our eyes off our phones for a little bit. But uh, it does seem to be a fad that's probably, you know, just going to be like a 2017 thing. And I think years from now, we're going to look back and we're going to go, hey, remember 2017 when those fidget spinners were around? You know, <laughs> um, I've seen different designs. I actually saw a Captain America shield version once uh, at a store. So they're getting really, you know, good with the customs and everything like that. Uh, but it really has been like a huge hit, uh, like just selling like crazy. Yes, and uh, of course, Tammy, you uh, on your uh, on your lovely video of <laughs> Anime North, uh, you you finally got your your hands on what I, I saw. I tried one, but I couldn't figure. I couldn't. You just you didn't know, see honestly, it. Honestly, I well. I tried it, and I couldn't get it to spin right away, which then I felt like, oh, great. You know, I can't even do the fidget spinner properly. <laughs> you but failed. I, so I failed. <laughs> and then I realized I was trying to do it with one hand, but I'm not a pro, so I oh, had no, to, you know, <laughs> do yeah, two hands. But yeah. I, I got to be honest. I, I purchased one through the mail that looks like Batman. Okay. Like, I mean the Batman logo. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, from China for like a buck, and I have not received it yet. But... <laughs> By the time I get it, the fad will be over, is what I'm guessing. Yeah. But I'm waiting it'll on look mine, really cool. too. <laughs> I ordered one from China, too. Not a Batman one. But you did? I did. I ordered a fidget spinner and a fidget cube. <gasps> from China? From China. How long Delivered ago? to my door. Still haven't gotten it yet, but it, uh, although they said that it should come this month at some time. It's not... The same. So... I but am I running to the mailbox every day like a Lou? Oh yeah, me too. Big time <laughs> loser. <laughs> um, yeah. So <laughs> anyway, yeah. I I it came to less than ten dollars for both of them to be delivered to my home. Yeah. So uh, what? You know, but at the same time, I'm like going by all these kiosks, like Neil mentioned, and seeing them in stores because there's so many knockoffs. Is there really an official fidget spinner? No. Is there an official fidget cube? Yes. I don't know what it's called, but anyway. Uh, Online, you're more than likely going to get a knockoff if you're paying anything less than probably 20 to 30 bucks. 
Um, but anyway, they're fun all the same, but they really are a, a bit of a, I'd say, a distraction. Uh, yeah. yeah, so anyway. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, you know, they are what they are. They're a fad, exactly that. And we'll all sit there and laugh because we all had them. We could probably, you know, Pogs. There was Marbles. Oh, there was sticker albums uh stickers, you know that that's not a fad the that, panini sticker s- albums where you would get the little packets and you you try to collect you know hockey cards of course smelly yeah. stickers yeah, oh the scratch oh. and sniffers oh yeah those are great the they root beer were. was my favorite oh, see, oh, <laughs> loved anything it anything coconut was mine or the bubble gum one was oh, pretty yeah. good too yeah. i still have those books around i wonder I if uh, they still they probably still scratch and sniff but yeah er, there's always a fad so this is just a fad for this day and age so uh, you know they are what they are, and I think they're they're kind of fun. So, um, but yeah, that's 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 toy talk, and uh, time just flies having fun. So we're gonna take a quick break, and when we're gonna come back, we're gonna talk about the video game, and we're gonna talk about lots of video game. So make sure you stay tuned right here on Pop Cultured on News Talk twelve ninety C J B K. <laughs> had to let that play to the big Mortal Kombat yell. Oh, that was such a big song back in 1995 when the Mortal Kombat movie came out. Welcome back to Pop Culture. <laughs> I'm your host, Silver Screen Sheen, joined with Neil Temple of Doom and Tammy Zombie Bait Heisel <laughs> from <laughs> Fanatics she Online. Makes me laugh every time. <laughs> it's so good. Because <laughs> uh, last week, little small story here. <laughs> <laughs> Last week we talked about just you know, the zombie apocalypse if it happened. It's always a kind of a fun <laughs> a fun it's conversation a at parties. Yeah. <laughs> so and you said that you wouldn't last more than a second. No, I would I would lay down and say here I am. So there you go. You would I be the zombie run. bait. Then, I can't run. Hence your <laughs> nickname for this week. Here's my arm. Just, yeah, yeah, dip your arms in mustard. And That's <laughs> Here you what? go. Just I don't like mustard. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess it doesn't Zombies, matter Mike. at that point. <laughs> Where did this conversation go? It all makes sense. Oh, to someone. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyway, yes. Uh, so follow us on our Facebook fan page uh, for nonsense like this. Um, so, and, uh, yes, yeah, so follow us, like us, and we'll update uh, You know, pretty much anything we talk about on the show. You can find us on Facebook at Pop Culture Canada and uh, or just put the full name of the show in there at pop no not, i always did at pop cultured again i just wanted to say at again no it's it, pop cultured with silver screen sheen and team you can type that into if you really really want okay we, v- video games that's what we're going to talk about and uh let's talk about that right now gamer news yes video games love them play them hate them Smash them. Whatever you do with them, video games are around. I've done all of the above. I've, I'm just one of those evil, evil players that, from the Nintendo days, would bite the controller out of anger. Yeah, but now, <laughs> since... Rage quit. Yeah. I was going to say, what? But, <laughs> Good Lord. Oh, hey, oh, come on, Neil. Give me a <laughs> break. I've known Neil since high school, and he's been through a couple controllers, I'm sure of it. <laughs> Whatever. By you've biting them? We've both got rage issues when it comes to video games, especially when you just keep beating them over and over again at a, a fighting game, especially. That's his weakness. That's his kryptonite. Especially if I'd you usually beat, win at fighting that games. Exactly, so. exactly. But when you lose, <laughs> oh! When you lose, you bite the controller. What? No, no, I no. That was ba- that was me back in the day oh, okay. with Nintendo. All right, that's uh, good. No, <laughs> I think we're both smarter TMI. now because the controllers are like eighty bucks a piece. So that's true. you think expensive. twice about throwing them across the room. <laughs> that's true. Smart, smart move. <laughs> so anyway, uh, of course, it's a brand new month, and every month. Uh, I almost said Nintendo because we're talking about Nintendo. No, maybe eventually the Switch will do this. But Xbox and PlayStation both have games for free. And you can find them under the uh, the PlayStation uh, Network. Uh, I don't know what's up. Uh, I can't remember what the name of it, uh, the official name of it. PlayStation. What is the name of it, Neil? Like, it's PlayStation Plus. Thank you. Yes. I, that Plus. came to you me. Have to be a, I just a had member. to look at his hat, and apparently it came back to me. Yeah. yeah I don't know so why. He's not even be wearing Xbox. it, but... 
gold and, and PlayStation yeah, Plus. Yeah, so to get games, games with gold for Xbox. If you own an Xbox One or a 360, they still have some games for that uh, that come out for free. So every month you're awarded for paying to their subscription service by being able to play online, etc. You have free games to download. Even if you don't have the room on your hard drives, you can bookmark them and they will always be free because you said, yes, I will take that. So uh, that's kind of cool. So you don't have to, if you don't download it or do that, then you will not be able to redeem them. So heads up. So this month, for the PlayStation 4, we have uh, we have Killing Floor 2. Yes, Killing Floor 2, it's just like a horde game where a bunch of horde of zombies come and you're able to upgrade your weapons and stuff. And the better you get, the more upgrades you get, but the harder the zombies are. So that's what that one's about. And then also Life is Strange, which is an episodic game where it's really cool. You're a photographer... And you witness a murder, but you find out that you're able to rewind time. And uh, it was well-received. And that's not just the first episode they're giving you. They're giving you the whole dang thing for free. So, And also, a crossover from uh, games that you can play, PS Vita and PS4, is Neon Chrome. Don't know too much about it. And Spy Chameleon. I don't know too much about that one either. Mm. Uh, but those ones you can download on your PS4, and they're, they're uh, playable on PS Vita and PS4. Xbox One Speedrunners, which is an, a game exclusive to them. I think it's an indie game. Um, it's not like you can't buy it on cartridge or cartridge. Wow. How old am I? 40. <laughs> yeah, that's right. On disc. Uh, an actual, t- yeah. Buy that on 8-track. Anyway, uh, and Watch Dogs, which was a game that you could actually buy on a disc at one point in time, not a cartridge. They still have cartridges. You know what? The, the uh, Nintendo Switch actually, I think, has like a cartridge still. You're talking to someone who plays Believe it or not. ColecoVision. Well, so. that was a cartridge. Oh, I know. So you you know cartridges. Blow the cartridge. Get the <laughs> yeah, that's out right. Of it. Yeah. Get at it. Yep, that's right. So there we go. Uh, so those are your free games for the month of June, and those do come available either the fourth or the seventh. So if you haven't picked up May's free games, you still have a couple days to do so. So I suggest you do it now. Uh, four is a three for Xbox One. It, it's, it, I've played it. I l- kind of liked it, but wow. I saw the downloadable content that's coming out for it. Hot Wheels. Like the actual orange track Hot Wheels. You play the game like you're on a Hot Wheels track. Nice. So that's they took so like cool. a game that was, you know, looked good, but it was very kind of driving sim. If I want a driving sim, I'll hop into my car and drive. Okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> but if I want to go on a Hot Wheels track on a make-believe car... I'm going to download this if I had an Xbox One, but I don't. So, damn it! <laughs> so I Can wish you rent it, one. I don't know. Oh my! Yeah, I'm gonna go to Blockbuster. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna rent see, one in, in the big giant plastic there case, you go. and then you I find remember. out you get home and the, <laughs> the power work. cable's not in yeah. it. <laughs> There's a disc that's shaking around <laughs> in it. Totally I think someone that. forgot it. Yeah. yeah. So, mm. yeah, and then they fish out a dirty movie. Okay. So, oh my! True oh. story. True story. Yeah, I rented. Uh, I think it was a. A PlayStation 2 before I actually bought one, and somebody obviously had it before because it's a D. It was one of the first DVD player like systems that you. Ha- so, yeah, somebody forgot to take out their uh, their movie. Forgot. And, and, and that was not like a, a bootleg one. It was the actual <laughs> real movie. So like the the disc was even very uh, uh, explicit. So. <laughs> So, That's hilarious. Yeah. Well, it's hilarious and not. It's good that it was you and not some kid. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. a good topic for another show. You yeah. Know, like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, video store horror, video stories. store horror stories. Exactly. <laughs> that could be a show on its own.